टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट जनरल लेआउट ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टीम एंड जनरल लेआउट ऑफ न्यूमेटिक सिस्टीम सो इन हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टीम देर आर नंबर ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स सो इन हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टीम वी विल सी कॉम्पोनेंट्स एज वेल एज फंक्शन ऑफ ईच कॉम्पोनेंट द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इज रिजर्व वायर इट मे बी अ सिलेंड्रिकल शेप और रेक्टेंगुलर इन शेप the function of the reservoir is to store the oil it may store 25 liter or 50 liter as per the requirement or capacity the next component filter so there are different types of filter so the main function of filter is to remove the impurities from the oil and supply the pure oil to the system next component that is the pump so pump is the heart of hydraulic system it increase the pressure of the oil and here this is the shaft of the pump which is coupled to the shaft of the prime mover when prime mover starts then pump sucks the oil from the reservoir and increase its pressure and supply the pressurized oil to the system next component that is pressure control valve so again there are different types of pressure control valve so the main function of pressure control valve is to control or to regulate the pressure of the oil as per the application or as per the requirement then next pressure gauge is there which indicates or shows the how much pressure of the oil is developed inside the circuit then next component of the layout that is direction control all again there are different types of direction control all it may be 3 by 2 4 by 2 or 5 by 2 as per application we can use the direction control all so the main function of direction control all is to change the direction of the flowing fluid inside the circuit so that we can obtain the speed of the actuator in different direction by operating this direction control all the next control uh, next valve that is the flow control valve again there are different types of flow control valve but here the main function of the flow control valve is to regulate the flow rate of the oil when we regulate the flow rate obviously we can obtain the different speeds of the actuator by operating the flow control valve and last component of the hydraulic system that is the actuator so here the actuator is a mechanical device which converts the oil energy into the mechanical energy means here linear actuator is used so here we can obtain the reciprocating movement of this linear actuator in hydraulic system so these are the components of the hydraulic system next we will see the components of pneumatic system so in pneumatic system again there are different components so the first component is the compressor so compressor is the heart of this pneumatic system so the it is a mechanical device which sucks the atmospheric here compresses it and supply to the system so next component of pneumatic layout is the air receiver or we can say air tank which receives the compressed air from the compressor and store with a high pressure inside the tank so on the top of the tank here the pressure gauge is provided which shows how much pressure of the air is developed inside the this receiver then here on off wall is provided for supplying the air from this air receiver to the next component that is air dryer so here air dryer is provided so whatever the moisture in the air that can be removed with the help of the dryer then next component f r l unit so here f stands for filter r means to regulate and l means lubrication so whatever the air coming from the dryer it will get filter through the filter and here the regulator is provided so this regulator has one knob through that knob we can regulate the pressure of the air the next here the some oil particles get added inside the compressor here for lubrication 
of the year if we not lubricated this year means if we supply the dry air to the component or system then it will make corrode to the moving parts of the system for avoiding the corrosion of that mechanical parts here the lubrication is provided so means in lubrication some oil particles are added into the compress here for the lubrication purpose the next direction control wall so here lever operated dc wall is used so by using this direction control wall we can obtain the different directions of the actuators so next component muffler or we can say silencer so the main function of muffler is to reduce the noise so inside this muffler here the number of baffles are provided means when the air with a high velocity is coming inside the muffler it will get strike on this baffles so that its velocity will get reduced and obviously its noise will be less and last component that is the actuator so this is the linear actuator so here we can obtain the to and fro movement of the piston along with the piston rod so this is the layout of pneumatic system as well as hydraulic system thank you